Now this is what I think of a mighty wind. Yeah. So. You belong to a cult. And what's the funniest part about your stupid cult is that I know you don't believe that, but you're being tricked by a scam artist. And I hope that every Christian that watches my videos will join me in speaking out against this because it's wrong. You're making the rest of us look like look really bad. If you ever take a trip down to Cobb County, Georgia, you better read the signs, respect the law and order, you'll serve hard times. You'll be serving hard times. You know the big boss man will make you walk the line. You better watch out for you'll be serving hard number of videos and they are coming yes I want everybody that believes in law order and justice that believes in the big boss man to get ready I mean we could get into a whole scriptural debate and I would destroy you because when I get to it I'm gonna use it leave you laying in a ring no chance for a parole no chance for a pardon sort of nothing but hard time punk Ugh. I mean we could get into a whole scriptural debate and I would destroy you only because I know the Bible. I have been studying the Bible for over a year now. I pretty much know the Bible better than any of you people because I would never be fooled. Stop attacking people in the name of God or I am going to have to... I'm going to show how much bullying you do. You're the kind of trash that likes to hurt people, make people sad. Well, next week, I'm going to hurt you. I'm going to make you sad, and I'm going to see how you like it, punk. So get ready to serve nothing but hard time, punk. Take down all of your videos that call people names. Take them all down. The man's a thief, and he's scum. He's a prisoner of the state now. He's my prisoner. You're, you're putting out negative videos in the name of God. You're using the name of... When you're a prisoner of the big boss man, you forfeit all rights as a human being. All he did is get what he deserves. It's just the beginning. If you have a channel and you belong to a mighty wind, and you have hateful videos, take them down. He's gonna feel a lot more from the big boss man. Because you've been fooled by a charlatan by a scam artist, a professional liar. And I can prove it. You can guarantee hey. me my man just showed what kind of man he is. Look what odds he went against. Three men against one. She's a whack job. She's a scam artist. This is how I know that you're not a Christian. You're a psychopath. You're an asshole. What's wrong with you? What kind of an asshole does that? You should be ashamed of yourself. Take down all of your videos that call people names. Take them all down. Congratulations again for being an asshole. <laughs> This video is directed at Inventor Gorilla, also known as the Dr. Gorilla. Now, when I watch this individual and his activities and his videos or the comments that he writes on YouTube, I can't help but laugh. Sometimes I just can't stop laughing. 
Uh, I, just, I don't even know where to start in this video with this ridiculous individual who is a character assassin and more importantly a satanic infiltrator trying to recruit lukewarm Christians into new age belief system that he calls Christian and to set them up against somebody with ministry and to character assassinate Elizabeth Elijah together with him my pastor and mom, Prophet Elizabeth Elijah, I'm talking about. Now I'm asking my Heavenly Father, God, in the name of Yahushua Ramashi, please give me wisdom, Father, to speak in this video against this Satanist in disguise, in the name of Yahushua Hamashiach. Now, as Yahweh has given me a mouth that none of my enemies, our enemies, can gainsay or speak against, I would say right now that you, Inventor Gorilla, are trying to get the heat off of Pastor George C. I know who you are, okay? Pastor George C. and this Nehemiah Sinner cult, whom we expose to be a cult, although they call us a cult, they are the cult, they realized, the satanic infiltrators in the Christian community realized that they have failed miserably in trying to destroy a mighty wit ministry, and trying to destroy Elizabeth's reputation, and trying to chase us off. They failed. So consider this a spiritual stoning. Your ministry is dead. Because they were not used to resistance. Especially not long-term resistance of mighty warriors of Yahushua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ, fighting back. Battling the bride of Satan without compromise. So they failed. And they have to reach out now to the atheists, and to the satanists, and to the out of the closet witches to gather one army and one alliance to bash a mighty with ministry together. And you, Inventor Gorilla, are part of that alliance. And I know you are a satanist. Now, you came out of the woodworks together with your buddy, Paulage All-Stars. I know you are connected, because you spread the exact same slanderous lies about Elizabeth Elijah and about me, the exact same threats, that if we don't leave you two, that they are going to bring out the truth, quote unquote, about us, as you proudly dug up some slanderous lies that Pastor George C. long ago gathered, and illegally put up on the internet to slander Elizabeth Elijah, lies that have been reproved and reproved, and exposed to be as lies long ago in our videos. And you're right now threatening us. We need to stop battling and bashing and attacking people in the name of God. Stop spread spreading hate in the name of God, which is absolutely ridiculous, because our enemies are the ones that draw first blood, and so it has been since the very beginning. We merely defend that which is true. We merely defend this ministry that has been built by God Almighty and named after the Holy Spirit. And now you're pushing and recruiting people to mock this ministry, to stone this ministry, you're targeting lukewarm Christians that are not founded in the Word of God, or grounded in the Word of God, I should say, to try to come against this ministry and to mock this ministry's name, a mighty wind ministry, which is specifically named after the Holy Spirit. Read the book of Acts chapter 2, I believe, a rushing mighty wind came into the upper room, and the Holy Spirit came upon the disciples as a, as a tongue of fire, okay, so this whole, this name a mighty wind is basically the Holy Spirit. It's the Holy Spirit that you're mocking when you call it nothing but a mighty fart and you're making fart sounds in your videos, which is supposed to be so funny. Right, Inventor Gorilla? But let me tell you this. Those who touch the Holy Spirit or dare to harm or grieve the Holy Spirit, I rebuke in obedience to the Holy Bible. In the name of Yahushua Meshik, I rebuke you, Inventor Gorilla. You spawn of Satan, you Satanists. In the name of Yahushua Meshik, I rebuke you. And I pray Yah's judgment swiftly to come upon you. And you got that right. Because you are not only damning your own soul for fun, but you're teaching lukewarm Christians to follow in your footsteps and to, the, to do the exact same thing. At the end of this video, okay, I'm going to show the description of this Satanist that has got New Age and has got New World Order written all over it. The name Jesus is not even mentioned, yet this man claims to be a fine Christian that knows more about the Bible than we do because he's studied the Bible for a year now. That's what he says. While every action that he uh, undertakes here on YouTube uh, everything he writes and every video he makes has no foundation, biblically speaking, whatsoever. 
It is based on slander, character assassination. In his description, you, I, uh, I saw that you are studying uh, Buddhism, uh, atheism. That's probably why you get along so well with your atheist and satanic buddies, right? Sticking up for their rights to speak out, okay? When they slander us and steal our footage and, 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 and urinate all over us, uh, spiritually speaking, you stand up for their rights that they should speak out so that they can worship Satan in the open. But with this ministry, you have a problem, Inventor Gorilla, and you're threatening us. Okay? With this ministry that reaches souls all over the world in 25 different languages for Yahushua, the Son of God, with this ministry, you have a problem, but you're the best of buddies with Satanist Gluteus Luminalis. Now, New Ager, Satanist, Inventor Gorilla, what does that make you? I laugh at you. Because the way you try to boss people around, the way you try to boss me around, the way to, you try to recruit people in the mighty wind through mind control and uh, trying to set them up against Elizabeth Elijah, you remind me of the big boss man. You remember that guy? You even look like him. But remember, but I tell you this, you ain't bossing anybody around in the mighty wind ministry, okay? <laughs> There's only one boss, and that boss is Yahweh, Yahweh God Almighty, and Yahushua HaMashiach, his son and uh, the precious Holy Trinity, God Almighty. You are not bossing anybody around, and Inventor Gorilla, I rebuke you. You are the spawn of Satan. You are so proud to dig up lies from the pit of hell about Elizabeth Elijah, her husband, and this entire ministry in general. And then you say, well, you don't know me. Are you going to make videos about me also now? Are you going to attack me? And then you say, you don't know anybody of the people that you are attacking. But, Inventor Gorilla, do you know us? You're condemning yourself by your own words because you dig up slanderous lies. You are of your father the devil and his works you do. And anybody that watches you, who has got any grain of understanding, wisdom and discernment, can see that you are truly the spawn of Satan himself. I mean, your body language, the way you talk, the slanderous lies that come out of your mouth, the way that you are attacking genuine ministries and ministers of God, your foul mouth, you call me a name caller and a bully that bullies uh, people and vulnerable individuals. But when I look at your videos and the names that you call me and other people, here's a comment, you use the F word against me while you encourage your satanic buddy Gluteus Luminatus, out of your own mouth you condemn yourself. And you will stand before my daddy who will make you admit that he loved me and that he hated you. Because the Bible says, uh, Jacob have I loved, Esau have I hated. Oh yes, God can hate because he's a God of balance, a God of love and a God of wrath against his enemies. And this God of balance, neither his name can I find on your channel. It is all new age gobbledygook garbage, which I rebuke in the name of you, Shermashir. So you go on and Venta Gorilla, study some more Buddhism and Hinduism and, and whatever you're, you're studying, atheism, okay? You can uh, indulge in this kind of leaven and get leavened and demonized some more. But I rebuke and bind up the demons that are in you, you spawn of Satan, in the name of Yahushua our Mashiach. And now, to show some more epic self pawnage, I'm gonna read to the people your channel description which is antichrist as it can get and you call us antichrist <laughs> um, and I'm going to show some video footage alright so epic self polish here it is Inventor Gorilla's new age antichrist channel description now here it is he says I'm a father of three girls they are my life my love and everything I am is because of their birth now a true um, follower of Yahushua, Jesus Christ, would give that kind of credit to Jesus, all right? Because he is supposed to be our life, our love, and everything we are is because of him. He is our creator, first of all, and he is the lover of our souls. The Bible commands us to love Yahushua with all our heart, soul, and minds, and with all our strength, okay? Now, I move further with this channel description, and he says, As a former and somewhat current child, I hope to write the wrongs of my childhood and be the best parent I can be. I am active with the school as a PE coach and do my best to be a big part in my daughter's lives. Being a single dad isn't easy, but the rewards are well worth the struggles and hard work. Now, about me, I love to play guitar, I write songs and poetry, I'm currently writing my first novel and I love reading and education. 
but I've spent most of my adult life in performing metal bands and doing things I shouldn't have done, some things I regret and others I wouldn't change for anything in the world. No, now so up to half of this channel description, God or Jesus Christ are not even mentioned. No glory whatsoever is, is being given to God. Alright, now let's continue. He says, so currently I am studying the Bible, Buddhism, Atheism, Science, Evolution, Cosmology, and a Biogenesis. I am religious, but not really into religion. I have a love for science. Now, concerning this studying the Bible, and Buddhism, and Atheism, and Evolution, the Bible says in 1 Corinthians chapter 10 verse 21, He cannot drink the cup of the Lord and the cup of devils. He cannot be partakers of the Lord's table and of the table of devils. This is exactly what this man is doing. He's partaking of both tables. Okay, this is all practices that the Bible condemns. Now, he says this, Forgiveness is the first step toward happiness. Start with yourself. Second is spirituality. The belief in something bigger or something greater than yourself, something bigger, something better. Again, God, the God of the Holy Bible, or Jesus Christ, is not even mentioned. I'm going to tell you what this is. This is what the Bible calls vain babbling in 1 Timothy chapter 6, verse 20 to 21. This is like based on New Age religion and vain babbling and science falsely so called. I'm going to quote the scriptures for you. O Timothy, keep that which is committed to that trust, avoiding profane and vain babblings and oppositions of science falsely so called, which some professing have erred concerning the faith. Now I continue. Lastly, family. I don't mean blood relatives. I mean all those whom you love. All those who you care about deeply, unconditionally, and totally. That is your family. Again, the Bible says, Yahushua, the Son of God himself says in the Bible, your brothers and sisters and your mother and father are those that do the will of his heavenly Father, not just anybody that you unconditionally and totally love. And then he says, we are all brothers and sisters. No matter what you believe, let's start acting like it. Now, can you say new age? New world order is written all over this. This is the Antichrist religion, all uniting as one. So, as you see this channel description up until now, there is no mention of Jesus Christ, no glory given to God, and then he calls us Antichrist with his vain babbling here and his New Age philosophies. He is an Antichrist. This is the Antichrist religion. Hey YouTube, it's IG, the Inventor Gorilla, and i uh, like to let all of my subscribers know that uh, Gluteus Illuminatus has been uh, flagged down, false DMCA'd. His videos are extremely entertaining, and um, I think that um, when anybody is false flagged, um, regardless of what you believe, what you don't believe, we need to come together as a community and support free speech. Doesn't give you the right to censor what he has to say, to censor his artistic expression. And besides, it's funny. None of his videos are vindictive. They're not mean. They're just funny. And whether you agree with him or not, he has a right to say what he wants to say. And in this case, the message that he was, was getting out to us was the hypocrisy and the blatant misuse of Scripture. Any ministry that speaks badly about another human being, you are sinning against God. A mighty wind shame on you. And Gluteus Illuminatus has become a martyr in the name of the truth. You've created 
a martyr. And we will stand together, believers, non-believers, for the right for him to speak his mind and express himself. But I look forward to the videos that he's going to be doing. I will be promoting his videos. Because I believe in his right to speak his mind. The right for him to actually point out your hypocrisy and your lies. I stand with Gluteus Illuminatus. Mm -hmm.